isn't what it looked like. Jerry just, she got a bit of a scare today when we were out. I'm not stupid, Ryan. Just not interested. Right, guess that's that then. Ryan, are you there? Dad. Things are a bit complicated over here. We'll be back at the end of the week. I know how excited the kids are about tomorrow. But personally... You're not so sure they'll be back. Are you? There's a few things that we can tell the kids if the parents don't come back. No, get back to work. There's still plenty to do before everybody gets back to work. Everybody gets back. Come on. I thought we are on the same page. So did I. Perfect for beach soccer. So they're not back, huh? What's the big deal? Dad said he'd be back. What? Like your old man's ever broken a promise before? Come on, I'll let you in. Maybe later. Something's not right. Mum and Dad wouldn't stay away for this long without at least sending a message. Strange, I know. But it's not like they can. The comms are still down. And the radio's broken. I'm with Zook. Mum and Dad wouldn't stay away this long without checking up on me. Your dad's the head honcho. Any idea what's going on? If there is anything wrong, which I doubt, it's because you and your dad came and stuffed everything up. If anyone's dad's taking prisoners, it's yours. What's that supposed to mean? He's just a big bully. What's going on? That's what I want to know. Why hasn't anyone come back yet? Ah, uh, that's what I was coming out to tell you all. Unfortunately, your parents aren't going to be back today as we'd hoped. But there's good news too. Rob fixed the radio this morning. Which means that I've been able to talk to Dr Hamilton. And he told me to tell you all that your parents are happy and well and missing you. But why haven't they come back? The boat's broken. But Ryan's dad's working hard to patch it up and reckons it'll be seaworthy in a day or two. What did I tell you? Can I speak to my mum and dad? Unfortunately, the reception on the radio comes in and out a lot. It's a bit, you know, difficult just trying and trying. Maybe you could try standing in a different spot, you know, to get better reception. Still, it's nice to finally know what's going on, isn't it? My dad wouldn't fix a boat if he tried. He's worse than Rob with that kind of thing. <laughs> Not possible. But I did feel like she was making it up as she went along. But I know Maggie. She wouldn't lie to me like that. She would if Hamilton told her what's really going on over there and she didn't want us to know. But they're our parents. We have a right to know what's going on. Exactly. We need to get a hold of the radio and find out what's going on. But how? She guards that office like a Rottweiler. I've got an idea. What? Why are you looking at me? Maggie trusts you. You can get out of the office long enough for us to get in and steal it. Uh-uh. No. I can't. She's my friend. She lied to you. You don't know that. There must be some other explanation. Fine. But the only way we're going to find out for sure is if we speak to our parents. I knew we didn't have anything to worry about. Oh, man. You should have seen Ryan this morning. I did. I was blaming my dad for everything. The only thing your dad is guilty of is being a workaholic. End of story. Thanks. Nice to know there's someone here who doesn't get worked up over nothing. What was that? 
Probably just a bird. Um, I was wondering if you want to come down for a swim on the beach. I promise I won't splash you. I might go and do some study. At least you know where I'll be if you change your mind. They're nothing kind. Everybody else is busy. Especially Jarrah. She's always sneaking off with Lily and Ryan. Look, I've got a few jobs to finish. But when I'm done, what about you and I have a kick about? Kick a what? A ball. We'll kick a ball. Really? Cool. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm totally betraying your trust. Look, if you're not up for this, just say. We need to talk to the island. You can do this. You'll be fine. Here. Fake tears. Go on, rub them in. about mom and dad just wish you could have spoken to them oh they all come in and sit down would you come for a walk with me i'd rather have fresh air you know sure i need a break anyway fixed at all. Look at it. It's still broken from when Rob put it in the washing machine. You know what this means. She lied. She said that when Dr. Hamilton was on the radio, she could hear my parents in the background calling out, tell both the girls we love them. How could she? Hey. Forget about it. Everything she said was a lie. What did I tell you about trusting monkeys? I just thought we were friends. So the question now is, what's really happening on the island? Do you think she really knows? How could she? Wait! You should let Zook have a look at it. This thing's stuffed, Jarrah. I know, but he's a bit of a whiz with that kind of stuff. No, if we show that to him, then he'll know Maggie was lying. True. But I won't soak upset again. It won't be. Not if we're clever. You nicked it! We're taking it back. The thing is... Jarrah dropped it before we could get through. And now it's broken. We need you to fix it before Maggie finds out. Do 
what's it called? Ta-da! <laughs> Check out the gear Josh lent me. You're not ready. What are you doing? Nothing. That smells like the something kind of nothing. Oh, mate. Well, Maggie said that I... It wasn't me. Jarrah and Ryan took it and broke it, and all I'm trying to do is fix it. Hang on a sec. You think Jarrah and Ryan broke it? They dropped it. This is bad. That walkie-talkie is the only communications device we have. Now it's in pieces. On your bed. It was an accident. Jarrah dropped it. But it was corroded so much anyway, I don't know Rusty how you... or not, it was working. Zook, Dr Hamilton was counting on this. What if they can't get the boat fixed? I thought you said Ryan's dad was... Yes, but what if something else goes wrong? How will we find out about it? Don't you kids realise just how isolated we are out here? Can't you fix it, Rob? Look, don't worry about this. But if you want to help, something else you can do for me, okay, Zook? Maggie Marks, what a performance. And the porkies just roll right off the tongue and with such ease. At least I'm doing it for them. Can't we just hug it out? I have no idea what I've done. It's not what you've done, it's what you are. We need to get out there and keep an eye on those kids. Something bad's gonna happen. I can just feel it. He totally sold us out. Maggie had the radio. He's my brother, he wouldn't. That's what it looked like. Jara, wait here. I'll be back. Hey, how's it going with the radio? It's stuffed. Thanks to you, it was an accident. If anything happens to Mum and Dad, it's your fault. Don't be a drama queen. Give it to me. Maybe Ryan can take another look at it. I told you. It's stuffed. Even so. So I threw it out. You can go and get it out of the skip if you want. Okay. He threw it away. He probably just got caught and he didn't want to admit it. No. There's something else going on. He was really mad. I know another way we can talk to our parents. How? In person. You can't be serious. Deadly. How long until the tide comes back in? Half an hour? We don't have much time. Go on to the island. It's the only way to put an end to this. Dangerous. I've made up my mind. Parents don't just abandon their kids without a word of warning. Think about it. If you were your parents, would you leave Zook or M for this long in the care of someone like Maggie? Or Rob? You shouldn't go alone. Are you volunteering? No. But I will. Thanks. Now all we need to do is find out how to get there. Lady to death. Sorry. Thanks. It's strange, don't you think? Knowing they're all so close, yet no one knows where exactly. Did your dad ever tell you where the island is? No. 
Never? Said it was better I didn't know. Just in case. In case of what? In case I did anything stupid like try and visit him, I guess. So what are you going to do now? There are hundreds of irons out there. You know that? I know. I saw them on the way in. Mum did say it took about two hours once, but that was in the big boat. It will take much longer in this one. Well, I must have seen my parents come and go dozens of times, and it was always straight out that way. That's the way we'll go then. If we don't make it stay, there's always tomorrow. You've got to be joking. Didn't you hear what Maggie said? Maggie was lying. Give me a break. She made the whole thing up. So she spins it a bit to calm everyone down. Still doesn't mean there's anything wrong. Yeah, fingers crossed. Don't know how you're gonna get petrol though. Rob keeps it locked up in his shed. He's right. And there's no way one of us could distract Rob after what we pulled with Maggie this morning. Zoot could pull it off. Yeah, right. After how he's feeling, he'll probably just go and dob us in again. Exactly. Zook, got a second? Jarrah and I are breaking into the storeroom. We need you to make a diversion. This isn't gonna work. You sure about that? What's he saying? Can anyone lip read? For a moment there, I thought you were right. Sorry. Come on, we have to move quick. Maggie and Rob find out we're going, we're dead. Ryan! I can't come. I can't leave Zook when he's acting like this. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I'll be all right by myself. Be safe. I think we've been set up. They must be up to something else. They obviously knew you were going to tell me, so they told you the wrong thing. I've got to go find Maggie. I just didn't want you to do anything else stupid. That's all. So... The radio was never working. Maggie never spoke to the island. They lied to you. So did you. I know. And I'm sorry. Me too. I just wish Mum and Dad would get back. Until then, we've got each other, okay? You bet. attack. Oh, chill out there. Why'd you leave this here? I didn't. Yeah, right. Why would I have an old picture of your dad? Because... Who's the other guy? Dunno. Weird. So if it wasn't you, then who was it? The boogeyman. It. He's down on the beach getting the boat ready to go to the island. He's what? Then. I think he's still clinging to the idea that your dad stopped for octopus or something. Can't 
help yourself, can you? Maggie lied, Natasha. I have to find out what's going on. It's the only way. You're wrong about my dad. Well, then I guess I'll find out one way or another, won't I? You can't stop me. I'm not stopping you. I'm coming with you. Fine. We leave in ten. Go, you've got no right to stop us. Ryan, I'm warning you. What? You're about to lie again? Give me a break. We're just gonna make sure that everything's okay. On three. One, two. Lily! Help me stop them! I trusted you! One, two. Okay, okay, the truth! I agree, something's not right on the island. What exactly, I don't know. I'm really sorry. I was just trying to keep everybody calm. So you agree we should go then? You're right. But it can't be any of you. It has to be me. No way. We're going to. Your parents would kill me if I let you go out to sea. I don't trust you. Fine. Come, but only you. That's not fair. No, Natasha, I need you here. These are the keys for the office. Don't let anyone else in there, all right? Nobody. Ready? Hope one day you can forgive me. Swap places. I know the way. I'll find out everything I can and be back as soon as possible. And whatever you do, don't trust Rob. What's she doing? I can't believe she did that. 